Hi guys, it's Adrienne. This is your two minute vocal tip of the week. I think it was maybe 10, 14, 14 years ago that I bought this enormous contraption to record myself practicing singing. Yes, there were cassette tapes at the time, there were cassette players, but those were so far outdated that they were hard to find. Um, my car didn't even have a cassette player anymore at the time. So I was looking for a way to record myself singing so that I could hear back what I was doing and try to make changes. And it's kind of absurd, the thing that I got, it was like as big as a printer at the time because stereo recorders were still pretty expensive. Um, I didn't know how to record myself onto my computer at the time. <laughs> I've learned that since then. But the point is, um, it is damn easy to record yourself now. You've got a phone, right? You can record yourself on your phone. So definitely do it. So I sang uh, at rehearsal uh, last Thursday night, which was an interesting proposition because we had three musicians in the room, one musician down the hall and me singing backups from outside using in-ears and a very long mic cable to be in compliance with uh, pandemic rules. Anyway, um, I sang a song that I thought I executed pretty well. It's the one from last week, uh, White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. Airplane. It's evening, I've had a couple of drinks tonight. And I did not sound as good as I thought I did. I mean, I wasn't off pitch or anything, but that's a big song with a big singer, Grace Slick, right? And I thought I was doing her justice and I wasn't. It was kind of mm, not very exciting. So tonight when I practiced, I recorded myself on my phone and I really experimented until I found what it felt like in my body and my head to produce the sound I wanted to produce. So I'm not even going to give you an exercise today. Today's tip is just a command from me to you that you must record your vocal practice and listen back to it. And I'm not talking about like sing for half an hour and record the whole thing and then go listen to the half hour. The way that I work it is I'll sing a verse or maybe a line, sometimes as much as a half a song and I'll sing it to my phone and then I will go back and listen to it and I'll note just in my head, what do I need to change? Do I need to open a particular vowel so that it resonates better? Do I need to work on timing in particular a particular part of the song? Do I need to fine tune a note in a run? Do I need to, uh, what else, enunciate more clearly? I mean, basically, as you do this more and as you are paying attention to your own voice, your own voice and other singers' voices, your ear will start identifying what you do and don't like about your voice when recorded. Now, at first, it's going to be hard. If you haven't done this before, it is you're going to think you should stop singing. So don't worry, everybody has that reaction when they hear their voice in uh, recorded and they listen back. But uh, that doesn't mean you should stop. It means that you should get used to what your voice sounds like recorded and then start working on some little things, start making some changes. So my process tonight was to work on a song, sing it, record it, think, like notice the sensations, like what am I doing with my larynx? What am I doing with my throat? How do I feel? How open does it feel? What kind of vowel shapes do I have? And then I would listen back and identify anything that didn't match. Like, oh, I thought it sounded like this, but it really sounded like that. Like I thought I was getting a really deep sound or a really bright sound or a really tall vowel, but it didn't quite get there. And then I would go back, sing it and record it again and see if I could change that thing. And as you do this over time, you start training yourself to execute certain, execute whatever you're trying to do based on sensation and muscle memory, rather than based on what you're hearing in your ears, which can be deceptive because we hear ourselves largely through bone conduction. Okay, this has already been a much longer two minute tip than I intended. So to wrap this, I'll just say, I am considering starting a new series that is not limited to two or three or four minutes because I keep running over lately. I just have more that I wanna talk about and I'd like to be able to run you through some exercises. So I, I think I'm going to start a new series very soon. Um, 
And if you have any comments about what you might find useful, why don't you post them below? All right. Uh, subscribe to the channel, please. If you would like the video and uh, sign up for notifications so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. And if you are interested in my membership site for vocalists, it is a great way to learn how to sing without having to take weekly or biweekly private lessons. Really affordable. You can find that at nail every note.com. All right. See ya.